So I'm back at the Tunnel Target Sports Centre and today we're going to be doing something different. We're going to do, be doing a little bit of slow motion footage on the Victrix. We've been sent through a brand new muzzle brake, so we're going to be testing that and doing some slow motion footage for Victrix. So very excited to see the end result. Uh, literally just walking down range to put a little bit of target down there just so we can show you the shooting at the end of it. Let's take a look at the new muzzle brake from Victrix. This muzzle brake is chambered in 375 Shatak and is constructed from stainless steel. Internally, it has five baffles, similar to a moderator or silencer, and on the outside, it has two angled ports. To fit the new muzzle brake, undo the two securing bolts and then unscrew your existing muzzle brake from the rifle. Once your muzzle brake is removed, fit the locking collar and then fit the new muzzle brake. Once the new muzzle brake is level, tighten the locking collar against the muzzle brake. I would like to thank Victrix Armaments for sending us a prototype of the Magnus muzzle brake to test on the 375 Shatak. 
I would also like to thank Clickersnap for providing the equipment and the expertise needed for this extreme slow motion footage. To record our slow motion footage, we used a Photron Fastcam Nova S series camera. This camera has recording rates up to 16,000 frames per second at megapixel image resolution and shutter speeds up to 0.2 microseconds. It is capable of recording rates up to 1.1 million frames per second, but this does reduce the image resolution. To make sure that we get clear images, we used really powerful LED lighting, just focused on the area that we were recording. Due to the amount of footage the fast cam captures, I had to be counted down to make the shot. Ready? It took a lot of trigger control to make sure that I had that first pressure on the trigger so that when he counted down, I could release the shot without disturbing the rifle. After each shot, it was important that I made sure that the rifle was clear and the magazine was removed so that we could go and safely check the laptop footage. Oh, wow. So as you just heard, in that short button press, that was six and a half thousand frames captured. That's really cool. There you go, is it coming through? Yeah. That is pretty impressive. <laughs> that is really impressive. Well, you need to sit down, I need to focus it. I've got to try and see now. Hey? I said I've got to try but, and see. Put the magazine in everything, because again, if you're moving it. Yeah. So for this shot, we're trying to capture the shooter, the rifle, and the muzzle brake. It was a little bit awkward getting in this position as I didn't want to disturb the camera. So for this shot, we wanted to try to capture the actual bullet rotating out of the muzzle brake. Three, two, one, go. 
Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, leave me a comment and subscribe to my channel.